Hello, everyone. I'm Brenda Douglas, your real estate notary and title expert. Welcome to the DMV Fan Club channel. Here is where I introduce you to the DMV, which is also known as the District of Columbia, Maryland, and Northern Virginia. Now that you're here, go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more information about the fun things to do around the DMV, including community events, tourist attractions, family fun activities, real estate related topics, and so much more. Okay, now the topic for this video is facts about renting a room or renting a home in Maryland. Okay, the happy home. But before we get started, the happy home hack for this video is about, all about saving money. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to uh, use cash only. Okay, so you're going to fast from using your credit card, you're going to fast from using your debit card, and you are going to only use cash. Okay. Now I know that there may be safety issues that some of you are concerned about, but you don't have to do it all the time. Just test the waters and see if you save more money by using cash only. Okay. Reason being is that one swipe from a card can wipe away thousands from your account. You know, I remember purchasing a car and I needed a down payment of $2,000. So I went into the car dealership and he's like, well, do you have your card? Yeah. Yeah. I got my card. I got my card right here. Okay. Well, um, go ahead and swipe it. And in an instant, I swiped it, the card left the account. And in an instant, it made me realize that with one swipe, that card took away thousands of dollars. And then sometimes some of you are like the way I used to be. You go to one store, you swipe, you go to another store, you swipe, you go to another store, you swipe. And before you know it, those dollars add up. You look at your statement, you review your statement and you're like, no, yeah, that was all me. That was all me. And so listen, one swipe can wipe away thousands of dollars without you even realizing it or taking it into account. However, if you were to use cash, then you know how much you are spending because once that cash is gone, you're done. OK, you know, I one of the things I also used to do is um, before I would go to a hair salon, I would ask them, what is the price? Whatever price they told me, that's exactly how much I took to um, the hair salon or wherever I'm going. I would get the quote so that I would know about how much I need. And then that's the cash amount I will take. That way, if the amount changes, I'm sorry, this is what you told me. OK, but anyway, the tip is to carry cash only. So test that happy home um, act. So test that happy home hack and then feel free to leave uh, messages in the comment about how that worked for you. OK, so leave the. OK, now let me just say that there is nothing wrong with renting a room and having roommates. OK, for some people, it can be really, really fun. Some people who rent out their rooms, they make it make the environment very uh, welcoming and they make it a fun environment for all the roommates involved. OK, whereas you um and actually, it's a great way to create community. It's a great way to not be alone. Some people have rented out rooms so that they don't have to live alone, okay? So there are some advantages to renting a room and um, to having your, you know, renting a room, a room in your home. Mm. The other thing is that sometimes people um, rent rooms so that they can save money. Perhaps they have a goal to purchase a home or get to, or pay off debt. And so they, they get rid of some of their living expenses or lower their living expenses so that they can save money to achieve goals. OK, so there is nothing wrong with renting a room sometimes there are risks there are definitely risks because you really don't know who your roommates will be you don't know what type of background they come from you don't know what they do in this you know spare time behind closed doors so it really is a risk and so you really really want to pay attention you really really want to ask questions okay but for the most part be open to it okay okay so now here are some 
facts about renting a room or renting a home in Maryland. Okay, number one, rental rates should be similar to that of the market rate. Okay, so you want to find out what a one bedroom or two bedroom is going for. You also want to consider if you have pets. Most places don't accept pets. Okay, but we're going to get to that. Let me let me just back up for a second in terms of the rate. Landlords can charge whatever they want. Okay, so it is up to you to have some knowledge about whether or not it's too high. And you do that by researching the market. Um, you go on websites like Hot Pads, like Craigslist, like um, Hot Pads, Craigslist, um, Facebook Marketplace, and you look at what people are renting their space for. Because truly, um, some people think that everything that belongs to them is worth a whole lot of value. Okay. And so you coming in, you're trying to save money. <laughs> you know, you, you don't care about the bells and the whistles. You just want to save money. Okay. So you have to make sure that you're not overspending because then it defeats the purpose. Okay. The other thing is that some landlords live on the premises. Okay. Sometimes that means that they'll scrutinize you more. They could impose on your space. I've heard of landlords going into rooms and spaces of their tenants while the tenants are at work and then discovering um, some um, discovering things. One um, person I went to, um, she went into her tenant's room and she discovered um, it was like drugs or, or drugs or a gun or something, something that he shouldn't have had because he uh, was under a parole, uh, whatever that is, parole. He had a PO officer. And so she actually told on him and got him in trouble. And he had to go back to, I guess, wherever he go, you know, wherever he was going. But it was an unfortunate situation. But it was also a sad situation and that she imposed on his space. Even though you were paying the money, it doesn't mean that, you know, they have a right to just treat you any type of way. OK, you do have rights as a tenant. OK. And so. So I don't know. Some people are a little iffy about moving into spaces when the landlord is on the premises because they're watching you a little closer. OK. Number three, you um, oftentimes, um, actually not oftentimes, there are rules and requirements for landlords to have a rental license and that if it, if the tenants, if there's a certain um, criteria that they need to meet, then they have to get licensed to be able to rent rooms. And that's for your safety and your protection. OK, so again, as a criteria, you can Google that to find out what that is. Um, and then also, um, listen, for some time, some landlords don't respect their tenants. Um, they treat you like, um, like they're doing you a favor, but it's really a win-win. It's really a win-win guys. And so, um, you just have to make sure to stay on top of your, um, your rental payments and pay them on time. Um, the other thing is that, um, and then also not take things personal. It's business. Don't take it personal, okay? Put item. Okay, so now I suggest that you put items that you don't want discovered by other roommates or stolen, um, put them in storage. OK, or leave it with someone, a family member or someone that you trust. OK, don't leave it in the room. If you leave it in the room, then lock it up. OK, but there's some things like I said that with that example earlier, he um, should have had that locked up somewhere in a box in his bag or something. You know, he should have had that locked up so that she would not be, have been able to get in there and readily see what he had, even though it's her home. You know, she's he still has rights. He still has to be notified. OK, so we'll get to that later on. OK. Understand that when you are renting a room and when you have um, renting a room, particularly and you have roommates, you um, you have no say so as to what type of people they invite into the home. Some landlords are all about the money and they don't screen. They don't care about, um, I shouldn't say that. Yeah. They don't care about who's there. Okay. So sometimes that can put you at risk if they're not 
really selective, okay? And you have really no way of knowing that, but just know that there, again, are risks to renting rooms, okay? And, um, okay, so that, and that's particularly for uh, landlords that don't live on the premises, okay? Most rooms, room rentals don't allow pets, okay? So if you are a dog lover, if you have a pet, some of them, most of them, as a matter of fact, most when you're renting a room, most of them don't allow that. And and actually, even for renting an apartment, most of them don't allow you to have a pet because um, the pet can damage. Now, the other thing they'll do is they'll increase, um, they'll have you pay a security deposit or in or a monthly pet rent. Okay. But you just need to make sure that they allow pets and to get permission before you bring your pet on the premises, okay? Landlords can charge what they want, as I've stated before. Sometimes they can overcharge. Sometimes they can give you a break. Sometimes they can work out some type of arrangement with you in terms of the um, the security deposit. So some landlords are flexible in that. They're able to do it because it's their property, okay? Okay, I understand that you have rights as a tenant. Okay, you have you have the right to privacy. And as a matter of fact, you can Google tenant rights in your state um, because you do have rights as a tenant. For example, um, you are to be notified 24 to 48 hours prior to entry. So that's just one of the rights that you have as a tenant. So go ahead and research those tenant rights. And actually, maybe I'll do a video about that. OK, listen, understand that the the maintenance of the property is not your responsibility in terms of the dishwasher, in terms of the roof, the plumbing, things of that nature that has to do with their home. It is not your responsibility. However, you need to. However, if you break it, and that's that's a whole that's, that's a whole nother topic. OK, but for the most part, in terms of the maintenance that is not your responsibility. Small things like a light bulb or, um, I, I, that's the only thing I can think of right now. Small things, yes, that could be your responsibility. Doesn't, you know, go ahead and do it, clean it up, what have you. The small things, yes, but in terms of the maintenance of the unit, the maintenance of the property, that is your responsibility. Now, on the other hand, there are, when you rent a home, um, then yes, they sometimes do expect you to cut the grass. So you just need to clear that up with your landlord before, prior to moving in there. Okay. And then some of them require you to take out the trash again um, for the trash truck. So again, you just want to communicate with your landlord to, to, to find out what the expectations are. Okay. Okay. Um, understand that a private landlord, a less likely to raise your rent every year, whereas in an apartment complex, then oftentimes they do raise your rent every year, okay? And it can be any, like there are no caps on rentals, okay? So an apartment complex can in, can raise it $50 next year, or they can go up to $200, $100. It's up to them, okay? But a private landlord, they're less likely to raise your rent every year. So you could be paying the same amount of rent if they allow you to, you know, so that's, that's, that can be a plus. Okay. Listen, you are entitled to some, if not all of your security deposit, if you leave the property in the same condition that you found it in. Okay. So you just want to be extra careful about that. Okay. And listen, you always, 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 always want to keep your security deposit and your rental payment receipts. Okay. Um, you always want to keep those receipts so that you will have a record and you will be able to account for uh, what you've already spent on the property. Okay. And you can get that back and you'll have proof. Okay. Understand this is the last one. Understand that renting a room or a home is a win-win situation. Okay. Sometimes people, some landlords treat you like uh, you're doing like they're doing you a favor, OK, or that you need them. But the truth is you need each other. OK, it is a win win situation. They need you to help them stay on top of the the, the rent or the mortgage 
and um, they trust you to pay your rent on time so that they can keep their property, whereas you need a place to stay. And um, some of you may be working to build your credit. Some of you may need to save money or lower your expenses and save money so that you can do other things. And so it is a win-win situation. And so you need to treat it as such. Don't let anyone make you feel inferior because you are renting a room. Because again, it is a win-win situation. You need each other. Once you are gone, they're going to replace you with someone else. And so they still need the money. So it is a win win situation. And so you need to treat it as such. Okay. Listen, I hope that this information has been helpful to you. If it has, if you can go ahead and like the, um, like the video and then also don't forget to subscribe. Okay. I'm Brenda Douglas, your real estate notary and title expert. And I hope again, this information has been helpful. If so, uh, again, subscribe to this channel and whether you are buying or selling a home, remember to keep your head up high, your, I'm sorry, keep your head up, your hopes high. And remember that it is not over until the keys are exchanged. Have a blessed day.